hello there from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's the end of June 2024 and behind us there is the old Grand Prix ride which has taken its final lap and uh, I'm just going to do a bit of gloating here Stephen. Mm -hmm. I predicted with you and Mike that it would run on its final lap. Yeah, yeah. I was and bit, it did. I was a bit <laughs> hesitant on it. They didn't much spend a fortune getting that thing back going again. But yeah. I'm glad it did for the fans though. Same. So, you know, 10 out of 10 for them for, for spending that money in gaming, back to scratch. I agree. Uh, it looked like a really good event for those that were here. And also, I think Pleasure Beach did a good finale video on their YouTube channel. I thought that was really good. So, today, taking it to the present day and not the final lap event, we are here to look at the status of the Grand Prix because Blackpool Pleasure Beach have started the decommissioning and deconstruction of the Grand Prix ride. So Stephen, take it away, what have we seen so far? Uh, they've started taking the, uh, the power uh, uh, bus rails out, so it's on its way of, of going. So that, that's the end of uh, the Grand Prix as we know it. Yeah, it's definitely taken its final lap. It's, well, as it was, yeah. you never know, they could maybe do something else with the track, I don't know, but like the, the, the actual track is still in place, so the actual yeah. rail is still in place, but the actual uh, power rail has come out and, and gone. You can probably just about see behind me, the running rail is still there, but they've taken the copper sort of power lines off the track now. They did that a couple of days ago. And also in the station, they've taken out all of the, the uh, spectator cutouts. And one of those was indeed modeled on Craig Toy. Back in 2022, it was May 2022, we had an event here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach where we actually walked around the track on the Grand Prix. But there was also a competition where somebody would win a cutout of themselves to be put in the Grand Prix station. So obviously when they did that, they obviously didn't know they were going to be removing it two years later. But yeah, Craig Toy, good friend of ours, won that competition and took place in the station, took his place in the station as one of the spectators taking a selfie for the remaining years or year and a half that it was open here at the Pleasure Beach. You can tweet me at PB Radio underscore. Just make sure you leave any special reason why I want the song and the song of your choice. So whilst they have started to do the work in the station and of course take the copper wiring out, they haven't actually taken the structure down yet and there is no known time scale at this at this time when they will do that. I personally don't see them doing that until close season. Yeah, unless they have solid plans in place for what they're gonna do with the space. Yeah. I don't see it going down anytime soon. Um, unless they have got something ready to go, in which case I think things will start moving much yeah. more rapidly. So it depends what they've got planned entirely on how quickly yeah. this is going to be sticking around for you. That, that's the thing, at this moment in time obviously Pleasure Beach haven't announced its replacement and there is a lot of rumours going around at the minute. Different manufacturers keep coming up, different ride types keeping up, keep coming up. At this point I don't want to keep predicting because I've done two prediction videos so far on sort of things that I'd love to see Pleasure Beach do with the space and things that I might have heard that might happen but right now nothing's been confirmed so I don't want to be like yeah this is definitely going to happen or this definitely isn't going to happen but what we don't know is for sure is when they are going to take down the structure of the Grand Prix and how much of it will be used because another thing that we have to consider is the station would probably be a really good station for a coaster. Yeah, it might need a bit of work just to be yeah. great, but like, yeah, I think that's a good location for a station. Yeah. Um, one thing I would like to add, like per from a personal perspective, I don't know if I'd want to see another ride sitting around... For ages. ...disused yeah. for a long time. Because we've got a lot of that going on at this park at the moment. Yeah. It just gives a bit of a bad impression. So I'm hoping this is all going to be sorted out... Quickly. ...relatively quick, yeah. yeah. And either gone, like, disappeared, or... Um, you know, moving on to becoming something new. Yeah, and something else I think it, an important thing for expectations is when Pleasure Beach built Icon, they removed the Tom Sawyer Bridge at the end of the 2015 season. Groundwork then started to take shape at the end of 2016. There was a lot of groundwork markings and clearing space and stuff going on around the area, but we didn't actually see any like footers going in or anything until 2017. A lot of groundwork was done in terms of moving space, putting markers down and all sorts of stuff in 2016. But it wasn't until 2017 we saw a lot of the footers going in, a lot of the groundwork going on, and then it was at the end of 2017 when the vertical construction started and Icon became vertical reality. But yeah, I think 
In terms of managing expectations, I don't expect to see the Grand Prix replaced next season. And I, I'd be very shocked if it was 2026 as well. Because Pleasure Beach is not like Alton Towers where you can sort of cordon off an area and then just build a ride. Pleasure Beach is very much like a working amusement park at all times when it's open. Everything's connected. When you think like Grand Prix is behind us, we just turn around here, Big Dipper's there, and then you've got Icons, Enzo queue and Speedy Pass queue and Easy Pass queue right there. So you couldn't close those all off whilst you worked in this area. So that's why I think that we all have to manage our expectations and can't be like, yeah, they're gonna build a new ride for next year. It's gonna take a lot longer than that. But I'm interested to see what the next steps are with the structure of the Grand Prix. In videos I've chatted a lot about what I hope to see the Grand Prix replaced with here in Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Well, I've not asked Stephen. So, Stephen, what would yes. you like to see them do? Ooh. Oh, a lot, lot of space, isn't there? Yeah, we're not having a drop tower here, please. What I would like? Yeah. Like, what I would like would not make sense for the port because they've got Icon. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, I would love something uh, Intermen multi launch. Coaster. We're definitely not getting two, one of them. Two, two Tatis, you know, something with a bit of a, a spike with the, because you could get a good, um, you could maybe even go for the height record with a, a reverse spike or something, you know. Like, you could do quite a lot of interesting things with that type of coaster. Do you know the only way I see a, an Intamin launch coaster here now is if they go for like a Red Force stealth style yeah, yeah. height record coaster. Why not? I'd be up for that. I was just thinking like, do you remember, I don't know, the rumours back when we were, we were, we were we, we big, you know, about the bigger one and that. Same height, but had the, hair. The, um, the actual location where a lot of us said the station would go for that. Grand Prix. Is actually up there. Yes. Just pointing that one out there. And there, and there was planning permission. Yeah. The, the bigger one's station was going to be Imagine. where it would go out onto the promenade. Imagine that. To be fair, I'd be up for that. I think that'd be quite cool, something like Red Not going to happen though, is it? I don't think so. I don't think that's what they've got in mind um, in, in this situation. Right, let's take Intamin out of it. Okay, Intamin are gone. No, I'll use Intamin. No, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, let, let's assume it's not Intamin. Okay. What would you What would you put in? Coaster wise. Mm. Oh, you know what? It's a tough one because I'm trying to think of, of what coasters that aren't Intamin that I like, and Intamin are really good at the moment. All um, right, I'll, I'll ask I, you it a different way. Let me have a think about it for a minute. You You carry on. All I was going to say is, does it need to be a record breaker? Or does it need to be something like Icon where they can just, you know, it, it's good on merit, but doesn't actually mm. break any records? Okay, I think that for Blackpool, they kind of need a, a, a USP. I agree. Coaster. So I do think you need to kind of go for a record. Um, it's an easy sell. Yeah, it and, is. And uh, I, I, I don't mean to like, have a go at the park in any way, but I know that a few of the things they've marketed haven't really gone down all that well. So if you build a, a record breaking coaster, that's a pretty easy sell for anybody. You'd be like, look, we have this amazing yeah. roller coaster. I mean, big one hardly you know. any marketing because you didn't need it. No, exactly. If you build something that's tall enough or big enough, they'll... Fast enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. We'll, leave, we'll leave it there because yeah. I, I know you're struggling. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to leave it there, but um, I've got a feeling this is going to be like the Icon construction updates and yeah, they're going to be quite frequent. So when anything is happening with the Grand Prix and stuff's going on in season or out of season. Your experience guide will cover it when possible. I'm sorry I'm shading my, my eyes, but it is so bright. Let's try and turn around. That's a little bit better, actually. Yeah, if, um, if anything's happening, we'll try and cover it, especially when the new ride starts being constructed. But for now, it's all about speculation. So let us know in the comments section what you'd like Blackpool Pleasure Beach to do with this big space they've got. Many thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.